Well, I had started working at Paramount in uh, 1980, and uh, I did a, a series, uh, The Powers of Matthew Starr, vaguely science fiction. They liked my work, and they wanted to keep me there. I, I did the last 20 shows of Happy Days, for instance. I, I, I did the show called Webster. I did uh, innumerable pilots and a lot of stuff that they just threw at me to keep me on the lot. I knew they were going to do a new Star Trek pilot. There was no immediate talk about turning it into a, a series. Mike Schoenbrunn, who was the head of production and television at Paramount, called me into his office and said, I want you to meet Gene Roddenberry. I've got a, I've got a problem I think you can solve for me. Grudgingly, I, I say that looking back on it because I was, I, I was pretty sure I didn't want to do it until I met Gene Roddenberry. And just a few hours of conversation with him, and I was, I was hooked. The man said all the kinds of things that I believed that ought to be said. He was a, a humanist a man that, that really believed that, that the future could be other than death and destruction, that the future could be everybody reaching uh, his or her potential, no, no racism, no prejudice, no religious strife, no ethnic uh, cleansing, all of this, all the kind of things that you would, you would hope a utopia would be. The show wasn't just about the hardware, the intellectual content of, of basic philosophy of humanism. I uh, uh, admired the man greatly, you can tell that. Herman Zimmerman deserves a lot of credit that he, I don't think he's ever received for creating what is probably the, the most original production design for a spaceship that I think we've ever seen in, in the modern era of filmmaking. I've always felt like if you're actually out in space for an extended period of time, the most realistic portrayal of that is on Picard's ship because you would have to have a super comfortable environment with house plants and carpeting and leather chairs. You would have to have a really, really comfortable place to live or you would go insane. Herman is the kind of guy that you work for and you realize that you've had a unique experience, uh, especially in this business where you may go and work on a project and you, you end up being subservient or you, you can't have an idea or you get pushed around. Not Herman. Herman wanted to hear everything you had to say and he understood that he was only as good as his people were. Any artist looks back on their career. There are a lot of things that I think I, I am very proud of. One of which is the family of people that I've been blessed to be a part of. Herman was always interested in looking at things from another angle. He would always say there's more than one creative solution to any problem. Yeah. Uh, I remember one day we were shooting a scene in Starfleet Command, actually it was outside of Starfleet Command, and we were walking this, the set the day before and I said, it really needs a big sign out, out in front, and there was no time and no money. So Herman just reached down and there was a big old planter box there. He literally turned the planter box on the side, <laughs> and he said, I'm going to have it painted and you put letters on it and that's the sign. A production designer doesn't do anything by himself. He pretty much tells people what to do, comes up with solutions to problems uh, based on the script always, and, and just learning as you go. It's not a career you can take for your college course and do an internship and know everything you need to know. And you're always learning and you're always, you're always challenged. You're always at the bottom of the rung, the ladder. A Life Achievement Award, I feel like he changed all of our lives. I mean, that's kind of the way that I feel when I think of Life Achievement Award. So, Herman, thank you. And thank you for introducing me to my husband. <laughs> he was there from the beginning, and what a gracious man. No ego, a shame, I still say it's, it's criminal. I don't think he ever won an Emmy, and I don't know how many times he got nominated, but not enough. Just a gentleman, so creative, so smart, and again, so unassuming proud of the work, proud of the art of, of, of the work. Herman is just a, the greatest guy. I just dearly, dearly loved him. Herman, we didn't work together that long. We just did 600-odd uh, television shows and four feature films. Uh, I don't think there's anybody I've spent more time with than you, Herman, and uh, every minute of it was uh, was a delight. You're the best. Nobody, nobody could uh, say that I really worked for a living. I, I put a lot of hours in, but it was way too much fun, and uh, 
I couldn't think of doing anything else. <laughs>